A day after the unthinkable happened here, the city of Omaha paused to remember those gunned down in Wednesday's mall shooting. The bells tolled for each of the victims at this vigil in nearby Creighton University, giving residents the opportunity to console each other and come to grips with what happened in their backyard. But what did happen and why is starting to become more clear as more information is emerging about the teenage gunman, 19-year-old Robert A. Hawkins, who took his own life after killing eight others. Beyond that, officials say he had recently lost his job and his girlfriend and was struggling to overcome depression. They say he also had a criminal background and spent some time at psychiatric centers. But they insist this isn't a case of a child falling through the cracks. Jerry Hobrock has known the family for years. In fact, he remembers the night the police were called to take Robert Hawkins away after he threatened to kill his stepmom at age 10. He says Hawkins was sent to a facility out of state and tried years later to reconcile with his father, but that attempt failed. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press. Omaha, Nebraska.